Michael Hooper strikes me as a guy who's a bit team first. Like, do you like him being recount recalled as the uh, captain for the Wallabies? Yeah. I, I, look, I don't think there's anyone more fitting in that squad to do the job. But yep. two, and look, I don't know this, um, but I, I'm sh- I'm assuming there was a chat that you know it's up for grabs that that Rennie would have had with him. Um, and I just think you've got to look at the way he played in that Super Rugby AU and and also the way he led um, when Rob Simmons wasn't there. She was a no-brainer. You know, he set the challenge out there, I reckon, as the new coach. And um, as, a, as a previous skipper, he responded the exact way you'd want, want yep. a skipper to respond. Yep. Yeah, no comments to the coach about his skinnies, though, I'm sure. No, no, no. I don't think he needs to worry. Tom, uh, Tom Christie, oh, that's a good one, man. He still hasn't lived it down, poor bugger. <laughs> Does that many crunches because of it? He did it the whole year. He just had Hooper in his ear. Just oh, yeah. Hooper's living rent free in his head. Tell him to get over it. <laughs> You're fat, mate. <laughs> he needs to do a weight shed. Yeah, one like guy a that fighter. I, one guy that I am looking forward to playing is um, I'm, I'm hoping he's obviously had a few injuries, but Jordan Pattaya. He's, he's one guy that, um, man, that I've got, that I've watched. I'm just like, man, he could be, if he can get it right, he's given the opportunity and can, can stay healthy. He's a guy that I think is going to be, um, can take the world on fire. So he's a guy that I'm looking forward to seeing in, in that um, in that team. Because I saw a stat as well that there's only six guys that are over 31 in that, in that squad. So you know, this new cab rank that they're coming off, yes, they've got experience, which is which I think you need in the team. And they've got that sprinkled in there. But it's going to be a lot of names during the Splitters Like Cup and Rugby Championship that we're going to hear about. And, you know, Jordan Pattaya for me is a guy that I'm really looking forward to. I don't know. What about you, Jip? Who's your 9 10? Because you can only set guys like that alight if if you get those. Oh, oh, yeah. I think O'Connor has to be at 10. Yep. Yeah, I was, you, yeah if, I was thinking if, that. If you're going to go with, you know, that sort of youth, I think you can set set them alike yeah it's a great opportunity for those nines um, you know if you think about yeah. Will Guinea, you know Will Guinea and even Nick Phipps about you know probably the last decade those have been the two halfbacks and then you've got Nick White who's, who's come back in who you know obviously has that experience and has, and has played footy as well but you know, you've got like you know the likes of Jake Gordon the guy from the Reds as well well what's his name Jim, the, um, oh, McDermott, 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 McDermott you know he's fantastic Ooh. unbelievable in the AU so yeah. it's gonna be a great opportunity for those nines and I'm really looking forward to seeing how they go um, you know, against Nuggy and you know our boys as well. There's power there as well. I, I, so I, come there. There. I come back to that. Joe just, it, yeah, Joe Powell as well. It just depends how they're going to, how they want to play. You know, do they want okay. to play? It's got to be Gordon, a, doesn't it? It's got to be Gordon on form. If he's picking on form, I know McDermott's gone well. Yeah, man. Like what? Waratah's turned around on the back of his ability to run around that rack. And well, that's it. Um, uh, do you, is that is that the yeah again that's the selection that you know do you go through is that what they're looking for on or do you want a guy like McDoon who gets that ball out quick has that running game is a little bit obviously smaller than Gordon but yeah it's going to be interesting mate because I don't know so, really like if you look at like I just go based off what he's had in the past yeah. you know Kerbalo 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 Kerbalo. Kerbalo. yeah he likes that running yep. abrasive nine doesn't he he's, he's yeah. not yeah yeah it would be interesting we'll, we'll, we'll soon too, find yeah. out yeah. Yeah. we will mate. Two weeks. So what's your money on, mate? What's your money on? For who? McDermott or Gordon? Yeah, McDermott or Gordon? Oh, man. I'm, yeah. You've, you've just reeled me in there, Jip, because I was going to go with Or Nick White. Or Nick White. Well, that's it. That's it. The, uh, you know, the, 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 the experience that Nick White has, you can afford to have, you know. But, I, mate, I'm going to go. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go Gordon, mate, because you've, you've talked about it. You, you talked about the past yeah. with. Polu and Kubalo, those kind of types of players. Yeah. Jake Gordon fits right into that. But then McDermott as well. He's him and pretty good off the bench as Gordon, well. Gordon O'Connor, surely. Mm. That sounds like a hell for leather style of play. Like you pick O'Connor and him, you've got a guy who loves to take on the line, the guy who likes to be creative, the guy who likes to do things that some people can't do in O'Connor. And suddenly you've got a Wallabies backline that's friggin' scary. Mm. But you've got a lot of youth outside that, that needs to be unlocked. And I, I think that can be unlocked by that flat at the line ability to make decisions to, you know, run, pass, kick, get that game management stuff balanced up. Um, you know, we spoke about it, you know, from the Thames and the All Blacks, you know, Bone and Barrett, flat to line, blocks the best. Uh, Josh Giovanni's the same. Richie Moanga, you know, flat, loves getting them behind those boards and, and creating options. So, I think 
you know, and Rennie's already complimented the way O'Connor's turned himself around and, and all that, but I just think his skill set, his confidence at the moment, he's playing, he's playing confident um, and he's playing form and, and all I keep hearing out of that camp is you're going to be picked on form. Mm. Mm. It's great to see James O'Connor, man, coming back and you know, getting himself into, um, into the, the, the picture where he is now, mate, because, you know, you think about, you know, his, his roller coaster and, you know, we talk about maturity, Jip, and I think, you know, you see it in, in his play now, but even the way he holds himself, you look mm-hmm. at the guy that was at the Melbourne Rebels to where he is now and his experience that he's had. Um, you know, I think it's a but great... It's great I think that, that goes back to that maturity and mm-hmm. that maturing we spoke about earlier. Yep. Is he's probably now like a coach on the grass as yep. well, you know, through his own experiences and, and having someone like him in the environment with all these new young men and mm-hmm. where their careers can go. You know, he's, he's, a, he's the perfect sounding board yeah. or the perfect person to say, you know, knock that on the head otherwise you know you're going down a tough road so yep i think it's exciting i think the young brumbies fly half flawlessio will be on the bench um if fit and you know even Tamur could potentially be on that bench because he can play the midfield hmm. cover fullback 